Oh, it's Palutena. Yeah. Pal is not a popular character here. You have, you have Jump Steady, who's been doing a lot of work. He seems to be our resident Palu. Yeah. But other than that, like, when we took a trip to the East Coast, they were just Palu everywhere. Yeah, everyone in Tri State's yeah. playing this character. I counted on the New York PR, there's, there's six of them. Oh my goodness. That's yeah, I mean, I don't blame them. The character is amazing. The character so, like, is <laughs> there's no reason not to play it. Yeah. But I don't know. I guess people in SoCal what? just. There, we're not down with Palutena here. Yeah. Let's see though. I think the one thing that struck, uh, that so struggles in this matchup is that when he wants to start an aerial, Palutena is near as faster. So he tries yeah. to jump and then he gets like near, near loop, cool. and it's just so much percent. Something else is that uh, when he's getting neared, you'd think, oh, you just shield the art out of it, but it actually, I think it actually like makes him put get put into it longer. Yeah. Like he gets neared more. <laughs> Yeah, I, I've seen it. He just like tries to, you know, escape the low percent counts with shield, but then he's just getting narrow looped even farther. Yeah. But nice up tilt, covering the roll and a jump. But it seems like there's a lot of cases where Shulk can outmaneuver um, Palu, in, in the way that like speed and uh, aerial drift, so he can position himself very well, even if he's not attacking necessarily. Yeah. And he's definitely gonna have to abuse that. Because he doesn't want to jump too close to Palutena because then he's in range of her aerials. Yeah. But Palu also has a lot of movement where she can catch up the shoulder. Yeah, and a really good grab range as well. Right, yeah. So Nico's doing a good job of hanging on to his lead. Playing the matchup really well so far. Oh, oh. nice. Yeah. That was a really good punish on the uh, backslash to the ledge. Zara had been like preemptively charging. I don't think Nico like realized what was happening. I yeah. so like, saw him going for the position. I was like, okay, I'm just going to release it. Yeah, I think this is just a really awkward spot to do an up smash there. Most people would probably do like an explosive flame when he's recovering that position. Yeah. It's hard because up smash also, like, it lasts longer than you think it does. Oh, yeah, and it stays strong throughout, like, almost the entire thing. Yeah. Oh, there's the hammer swing, or the bat swing with the F so. Oh. Okay, Zara. Can you bring it back? Wow. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he died from full screen. I, I, I thought he was fine there. Yeah. Alright, well Nico's definitely gonna take that then. Yeah. This is where it gets tough. Yeah, oh, Nico's yeah. the buster, he gets hit by a string, he gets down for a kill, he's taking like 30. Nice. Oh gosh. He covered the spot out so well. I think the slight startup of uh, Shulk's aerials throws people off when they're trying to like yeah. uh, spot out your shield's moves. Against Shulk, especially in neutral, if you're staying grounded, you have to be good at parrying him. Yeah. You have to figure out that rhythm that he's going to throw all his attacks and start parrying him. Otherwise, he'll get a lot of free shield pressure. Yeah. But Nico um, is a player, in my experience, that when he's in disadvantage, he'll throw out a move or something Ooh. only. Yeah. Strong. Nice. But when Nico's in disadvantage, he'll like, throw out a move or something. Okay, so he's like, pretty switch good. into Buster. Right. Not Buster, You switch into another art. And against Palu, you don't want to do that because she could explosive flame. You just yeah. have to be very wary. You honestly can only jump your air dodge in this advantage. If you're throwing out a move, you're probably going to get hit by yeah. explosive flame or whatever she throws out. Yeah, and she has a lot of punch from grab too, so if you parry your aerial when you're in disadvantage, you get hit. But Sheik is out, a character that Nico really disliked playing in the previous game quite what? a bit. But the roles are <laughs> reversed. Yeah. <laughs> But now, you know, he's playing a powerful Shulk, and uh, oh no, she got some, got some love in the previous patch. Yeah, her advantage is still very good, it's just her damage output is not good, especially against Shulk where you kind of have to thrive off of doing a lot of damage, yeah. and he's doing a lot of damage. Like, okay, this is going to be a fair string of process. Oh, I think, I don't know, I can't know what he's going for. Yeah, I think he wanted to get up air drag down maybe. Oh, okay. Uh, Sheik does have that, you're right. Yeah, that's like the new B and B's for Sheik in this game. I feel like if he gets hit, he's dead. From from, from uh, Shulk, Shulk at 80? Yeah. Jeez. I know she's fight, but. Smash, but Hold on anymore. Okay. Oh, it still works, or it doesn't work rather. <laughs> falling out in multi-hit smash attacks. I know they made it so his other smash is more consistent, so he won't like fall out as much. A smash out of shield, just barely enough to not kill. Oh, how's he gonna get past smash out of the way? Oh my goodness, even down tilt? Everything, everything. Oh my goodness. <laughs> he could breathe on you and no kill. Dang. 
That's good for Nico. See, this is where I think Sheik might crumble. Because not only does he have to get the kill on Shulk, who can go into Shield, but he has to take a lot of damage from Shulk. Yeah. He can go into Buster, or even, not even in Buster, he does a lot of damage. Yeah, and uh, she doesn't have like throw fall. Oh okay. wow, he was in smash. He took bows knockback. <laughs> That's good. That's good for Jazar. But uh, yeah, she doesn't have like throws into up air to kill anymore. So you can't even get like a safe kill confirm when he's at these like kill targets. And there's another smash yeah. artist just to kill me. <laughs> yeah, she's already gonna die early. Like even to default choke. Like I can't even imagine how early he dies to smash art. Yeah, honestly, I think he should have stuck to power. Even even if this is a comfort pick, like I just think Kalu is the better. I mean, he's, I think he's doing about the same, right? Yeah. But, I don't know. It just seems like such a struggle to actually like get much off of his hits in neutral because he'll get like straight hits, but then Nico does like the same thing and gets more damage for it. So he ends up having like a, a bigger lead because of it. No burst grenade set up here. Yeah, Nico is pushing his lead really well. Now he has the smash art. Oh, that was such a scary wall jump. Yeah, the Sheik doesn't have any pro kill for this Yeah, and he's taking his shield art too. He basically just has to time out the shield art in this situation. Yeah, probably has to. Oh, yeah, free punish. I think he might have wanted to use Needle for more. Yeah. I've, yeah, Needles are still really good. I just think they charge faster now in the newest patch. They, they charge faster, but the range is 